Hello, this is Trevor Lewis, um, and this is another video from the Voyager Steam Lab. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Screencastify so that you can make videos and share them with your students on Google Classroom. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're in the right Google account. So if you go to Google, just the website, and you look up here, you can see it tells you what account you're in. And if you click, you might have multiple accounts here. The one we need is our sc official school email. So you can see I'm not in the right account right now. Um, if you don't have this one up here at all, you can add another account and log into it using your, your district provided login. If you have it like this, I can switch like this. Um, I have the same picture for both, so it's kind of tricky. But you want to make sure you're in this account. That way, when Screencastify records things, it's going to save them in the correct Google Drive so you can share them with your students on Google Classroom. Once you've got that set up, you're going to Google Screencastify or you're going to go to just screencastify.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this as an extension to Chrome. So we've got an Add to Chrome button right here. We can push that. Um, and then I'm going. it's going to take us to our Chrome Web Store. Um, and you can see my internet's a little bit slow at home. So I'm going to pause it here as after I hit Add to Chrome because it's going to take a little while for this to download. So the first thing it says, it wants to make sure that, you, that you're allowing Screencastify to do what it, it's going to do in Chrome. So I'm going to hit Add Extension. What should happen now is I should have this pop up and it's going to download. I'm going to pause it while it downloads so you guys don't have to wait and watch. Okay, and we're back. This just disappeared. It's adding it to Chrome. Now it's up here. So we're all set up. Um, you can see I can sync this with my other computers. I'm not going to worry about any of these details right now. So now I've got this little icon right here for Screencastify, the video recorder. And this is how I can record things on my computer. So what I'm going to do when I want to record something is I'm going to click on here and the first time I click on it it's going to take me to a web page. It's going to say you're not actually set up yet. It says how do you going to log into Screencastify? So because we signed in with Google earlier we can just press sign into Google and it says automatically save videos to Google Drive. Highly recommended. I highly recommend it as well. You're going to push that. It might even ask me which one. Let's see. It gives me another sign into Google button to push. Now it's going to say which account, make sure this is the right account. There it is. There's my school account. That's why we did that first step. And it's going to ask permissions to do things like put things in your Google Drive, which you want it to do. So you're going to click allow. Now Screencastify should be all set up. So now when I click on this button next time, it won't give me that same error message or it won't give me, oh, one more step, sorry. Um, I have to say that Screencastify has access to my camera and microphone. You can see I've got a USB microphone. Um, you can use the microphone on your Surface on your computer. Um, the USB microphone helps my audio sound a little bit better. Uh, I've got drawing and annotation tools. I'm gonna keep both those checked. Hit next, hit allow, hit allow. There's a lot of just yes, yes, yeses here. Then it asks and wants to know a little bit about you. I'm an educator, so I'm going to click that. I work at a grade school, I suppose, because uh, I'm at a K, uh, you know, K through 12 school. I think that's what they mean. And then it says, looks like you're all done. So it's going to take me to the welcome page, give me a little bit of confetti, tell me how to do stuff. That's what I'm doing, though, so hopefully you don't need all that. Okay, sorry for the jump cut there, but uh, what I discovered was Screencastify doesn't like me to be recording a video about Screencastify and showing you all the Screencastify things, so we'll have to be a little more creative here. So right up here is how you start your Screencastify screencast. So what this does is it records a lot of different things. I'm going to push this button and it's going to give me my options. So I have the free version, which means I have a five minute limit, which I really like actually, because if I can't explain it in five minutes, maybe I should break it into a couple of videos um, or I should edit myself or I should practice and get a little bit better. I can switch which microphone. I'm using my USB mic, this blue, bolt, blue snowball microphone. So that one's already selected for me. You can choose whichever microphone you like. Uh, if you have a USB mic or a microphone that you can plug into your Surface um, it might make your audio a little bit clearer. I can also embed a webcam, which is like this one I have down here where I can see my face. Um, and I can choose whether I want the front camera or the rear camera. That's the camera that actually points away from you. Or you can go infrared if you're recording in the dark for some strange reason. Um, I can record the browser tab I'm in, which just is just this tab of this website. I can record my whole desktop, anything that's shown on my screen. Or I can only record the webcam. So that might be good if you're just trying to show you. Um, so those are your options. I usually would do something like the desktop because I'm usually trying to show something that's being done on a computer. I got more options here. I'm going to click on that. Uh, you can change how long your countdown is if you'd like. Three seconds is the minimum. I can go all the way up to 10 seconds if I got to go get set up after I hit record. Um, I can also trim this later, so don't worry about too much if you have stuff at the beginning or the end. I can also record what the audio is playing through the computer. So if I'm playing something through the computer, this will add that to the video. 
um, and you could do that and turn your volume down and I think it'll still record it. Um, this show webcam preview makes a second version of your webcam. I don't know why you'd want that. So I'm going to leave that off and then you're going to hit record. If I hit record right now, it's going to tell me that I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go record a screencastify video and then I'll come right back to you guys and I will show you how to put that up on Google classroom. So your students can all view it. So I'm back and you can tell that I'm outside now. I apologize for outdoor noise. Uh, I've recorded a video. I want to rename it up here so that I, I've already renamed it. You can see it's slowly saving in my Google Drive. I used almost the whole time. So a couple things I wanted to point out to you is as I'm recording this, um, as I was recording in Screencastify, it gave me a warning when I got close to the five minute mark, which actually showed up in my video, which I didn't love, uh, but at least it gives you a warning so you know you're gonna run out of time. Um, the other thing I noticed is that when I wanted to trim it, I need to drag this trim thing. I, it, you can't just click on the scissors. When you do that, it takes you into trim mode, but it doesn't actually trim anything until you drag it to where you want to trim it to. And you can see I can't hit save yet because it's not all the way saved in my Google Drive. I also have a whole bunch of things on the side here of how to export it. I'm not going to use any of those. It's already saving in my Google Drive. To show it to my class, all I'm going to do is go to Google Classroom. And then when I want to create a classwork or add something to my stream, I can just choose from this drop down menu over here and add. And I can go to my Google Drive and it'll be in the recent folder. Um, it takes a little while for those videos to process. So they might not show up immediately, but you're just going to have to be a little bit patient. So that's it. That's how you use Screencastify and how you share it with your students. So go ahead and make some videos and enjoy.